Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. You guessed it by the title, I am in Geneva. I am so excited. I'm here on a press trip with the Geneva Tourist Board and I cannot wait to show you around. I've never actually explored Geneva before. I came here earlier in the year because then we drove from here to Chamonix, which was one of my favorite trips ever. So if you didn't watch my ski trip vlog, I will link it below, but I actually said to Matt on that very trip, oh my goodness, we need to come back, do Chamonix again in like the summer and enjoy the hikes and everything, but spend a night in Geneva. So I guess I'm just here to do a little recce and find some amazing spots, make some nice memories, and then with <laughs> this one, hello. And then we'll bring the boys back at another time. No, I think we should. I've been here once before, like five years ago, and came for one night, and I've always wanted to come back. And, and it's never been, properly. I know, I've never been so surprised at how easy and quick it is to get somewhere. I know, so I can't great. wait. So let me give you a quick tour. We've checked into the Mandarin Oriental. We have a river suite, it's absolutely beautiful. And then we are gonna get changed and go out. So this is the gorgeous suite. I mean, I would absolutely love to channel this in my home. Beautiful sofa. We have these incredible windows, which open with all of the fresh Geneva air, this area, which would be gorgeous to actually have room service in. And these windows just go all the way along the sweet, gorgeous, comfy bed, and then a desk as well. And my favorite part is the fact that the bathroom actually has Diptyque toiletries. How amazing is that? You know it's a good hotel when they have Diptyque toiletries. They have some incredible rooms in this hotel. I think they have one on the top floor with impeccable views, so might have to ask if we can go and see that. Then we actually have two dressing rooms. So this is one, and then Emily is getting ready in the other. So. Next time you see me, I'm going to be ready and we are going to go and explore. Here is the first fit of the day. Souffle, which has come highly recommended. I'm so glad you ordered it. I can't it. wait to try And then this is the chicken. This is what I'm really, really excited about. We had to come here because they're kind of famous for like chicken and egg dishes. So we got their half chicken dish. Oh, oh, amazing. Messy. The bread looks sensational. It's winging its way over here right now. <laughs> and then we love octopus and cheese souffle, which is meant to be very special. Okay, so lunch was amazing. I believe that they're famous for their chicken and eggs. And we tried the chicken and I have to say it was such great chicken. So the octopus though, oh my goodness, such good octopus. That was such a nice location for, I would say it would be a really nice date night going there. And then there's actually a spot that we've seen that is apparently the best sourdough in the whole of Geneva, so have to go and take that off. End up there. So we're gonna end up yeah. there after our walking. That is the plan. walking via the river and I think this spot must be good for food because look at the line outside. I feel like I did actually see someone on TikTok saying that this spot's absolutely amazing and if you look at the line, it must be a good one. Oh, how divine. So we are just walking by the lake, which is so beautiful. You should definitely come here because there's so many incredible food trucks. I actually just went to try and get a crepe, but the line was too long. So no crepe for me this afternoon, but honestly, all of these food stores look so great. They also have a pizza station here. saying how wild it is that we can literally just get on a plane this morning we we're in london within literally an hour and a half yeah it was an hour and we are time. we are here in geneva and i feel like we're so privileged and blessed to live in london and near to heathrow and to have access completely to europe yeah. it's just incredible well, we were just having a bit of a deep moment <laughs> and we were saying how how crazy it is that like this is living for us yeah. i think we said this last time we went away 
but the fact to that travel, to eat, to yeah. walk. Like that we got off a plane, we got to the hotel, we've been out, we found a cute coffee spot. We've, you can't see my head, <laughs> but like we've been able to communicate with everyone. There's no, like, we, we were actually just yeah. saying as well, it's one of those things, it's about changing your mindset. So not, yeah. oh, I've got to get up early and get a flight or oh, I've got to work out. It should be, how lucky am I that I can work out that my body yeah. will let me work out? How lucky am I that my legs will let me walk around Geneva? How lucky am I that I can get up early to get a flight. Completely, and like, even just like, we were joking earlier, like my, my method of communication here is just to say yes to everything in French, or just like bon, But what did you bon. say? My French is good. But even she's been texting me in French for the last like two weeks, and I was like, it's so funny. It's because I used to live in Montreal. But it's, I just think it's really cool that like, you know, we can communicate, we're in a different country, it's not scary. It's like, amazing, it's, it feels very travel. safe. Come to the tropical corner, which is like a bar, and you can actually do paddle boarding and windsurfing here. We're not doing it because it's a little bit windy today. Great for windsurfing, but I can't windsurf. But how amazing will this be in summer? And like I say, we were meant to do some paddle boarding. It's called Tropical Corner, and it's really cool. They do surfing, windsurfing, kayaking. There's people out. There's loads of people out, but. We were just like, well, we were actually delayed getting here, so we kind of had to change our timings. And also, it's a little bit windy. Usually, I love paddle boarding. I'm all down for paddle boarding, but I think in summer, this would be amazing. Oh, drink. And you can sit here with a little drink, and then I think that means we're gonna go back and have a bit of time to go and enjoy the food trucks because we saw in a telepizza and a crab. Yes. Got myself a hot lemon, ginger, and honey. How exciting. Look what we found, the sourdough spot. You found a good sourdough spot when it literally says a fermentation enthusiast on the window. We just walked past this spot and it's so gorgeous. Definitely gonna come back here for a little cocktail at some point. We, we are definitely going there for brunch on, I think our last day, right? Yeah, but we kind of messed up today by accident because we didn't realize that they only serve until like 2.30. Yeah, so I got a coffee, which I haven't tried yet. Wait, let me try. And wait for it, they did plant-based milk. They did, which was soy amazing. Milk. I tend to find soy is okay to find. It's oat milk and they think you're saying hot milk. In London, soy is hard to find. It is, it is, but it's my preference. But wait for the main bit. So I got some brownies and these so are made with um, sourdough levant. Yeah, sourdough levant brownies. Emily and I are like obsessed with sourdough. We make our own sourdough, we buy lots of sourdough, we eat lots of sourdough. So the fact that we just found a sourdough enthusiast cafe, I cannot wait. Are These are hazelnuts. Here you go. Oh, thanks, taste test. Mmm. 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 Not too sweet. Mm -mm. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we just got back from a day of exploring, about to actually hit the gym, and oh my goodness, look at these trees from the Mandarin Oriental. Do the honors, what does it say? It says, welcome, we're so happy to have you. Should you need anything, let us know. Oh, we hope this is filled with unforgettable moments. Oh, that is so kind, and we have some meringue, some cream and some berries. We have a Switzerland funny cow. We've got some water, and then we have this, which is, wow, so beautiful. And we also have these incredible fruit juices. We got apricot, we got pear nectar, and we got strawberry nectar. How beautiful, all with the incredible views. Honestly, we have had such a gorgeous day sightseeing, and there's so much to do here. The fact that you can even go windsurfing, paddle boarding, we did find the cutest little spot just by the river that I think we're gonna have to pop into tomorrow and just have like maybe a glass of rose, maybe a chocolate show, just sat by the river because it's so beautiful. There's a ladderite store here, because it's Swiss chocolate, right? I don't actually know the answer to that. I think we did but speak it's about this, just reminded me of. It looks like Ladarak. Well, we're doing a chocolate tour, guys, another day. We're doing a chocolate tour. They do a thing called the Chocolate Pass, the Geneva Chocolate Pass, and I'll tell you all about that because we're so excited. So I'm a little windswept. Please don't mind that. But Same. raspberries, cream. Oh, 
Mm. Baby, all that's missing. I'm is not really some, a meringue person. All that's missing is some Nutella to go with the. You wanted a crepe so bad, didn't you? I couldn't get a crepe, but it's fine because we have more days to get crepes. We're gonna try these. Mm. Mm. Oh, hazelnut. Mm -hmm. hazelnut. And just like that, we are ready for dinner. I'm wearing purple, which I never wear. We just went to the gym, had a little chill out. And I also, can I just say, a hotel with dipped heat products is the best. I just popped this all over my body. My body is parched and my body loves it. So we're gonna head downstairs because one of the perks of staying at one of the best hotels in Geneva is that they have the best restaurant inside here. And the restaurant downstairs is meant to be absolutely incredible. So I'm so excited to take you with me. You know I love food and I think one of the best ways to explore a place is to just go and try loads of good food. So I think tonight's dinner is gonna be amazing. We're gonna have a really nice girly evening. Let me quickly show you the dress. Whoa, I knew exactly Oh my that. gosh. So it's kind of like a little bando, bardo. I'm wearing black. There we go. Oh, and I can't take the shoes off, so I'll, I'll, I'll come and give you a little foot shot. No three feet. <laughs> Okay, we're still out for dinner. We're in Saatchi inside the Bangalore Oriental. I am so excited. We're having I think it's an acorn on the closet. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I'm just so excited to have like a girl weekend. This is this one of our favourite. The fact that you can hop on a 1.5 hour flight and come here. Well, where can you get in there and hop from London? I can't even get to my family home. No, neither can I. It was actually quicker for us to do this journey than it was for me to drive home to my family. Sorry, Mum, I'm going to Geneva next time. Maybe this is on the Bon appetit. A mousse bouche. Amazing. Tuna, scallops, and sea bass. So, I know, I'm so excited about this. Scallops, scallops, sashimi, sea bass, sashimi. Another tuna. Oh my gosh, it's so fresh. It's so fresh. Grilled monkfish with miso and a jalapeno. Oh my goodness, a dream dish. Do you wanna Oh my gosh, we had to move over to get some crispy rice. Okay, so when Matt and I went to a place called Bond Street in New York, we had crispy rice. It was like the best thing I've ever had. We saw that they have it on the menu here and it wasn't hot, hot on the car day, but they just brought it over to us. We kind of waited to tuck in. We still have our omakase dessert. We do still have our dessert. <laughs> The jalapeno. Say jalapeno or jalapeno. 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 J
to how much we liked crispy rice. And then at the end, pre-dessert, we moved over to the a la carte and had the crispy rice. I would go to that restaurant over and over just to have the crispy rice. We wish we could get it on room service because it was so good and they do one with guacamole on top. So I need to come back and try that. So we're gonna get ready now because we are actually heading out for a really fun day. We have such a pinch me morning plan because we're actually heading to one of the best jewelry stores in Geneva. We have a special appointment and we cannot wait. We're gonna be talking jewelry, we're gonna be talking watches and I'm just really excited to do a little bit of shopping today. And then, oh my goodness, we have a really exciting lunch planned as well. It's very traditional and I believe it's actually the oldest cafe in Geneva, so yeah. Food is such a great way to learn about our place and we just can't wait to get outside, get some air, the sun is shining, so let's do this. Mm. Mm. Try out. Good morning! It's breakfast time. We are just at the breakfast buffet. I love a good breakfast buffet, but this one is elite. I will go and show you. But they have loads of healthy things. They have a healthy corner with banana bread. They also have ginger shots. And I actually just got loads of the honey to taste test because the honey is grown locally in Switzerland, which is amazing. And I always think it's really important to try honey when you're in a place that's meant to be really good for you in terms of allergies and stuff apparently. Mm -hmm. Not if you're allergic to pollen, obviously, which funnily enough we are because we have hay fever, but honey is fine for me. Yeah. So honey's obviously has a lot of um I think it's like if I have a sore throat I always have honey but I try to get honey from the place that I'm in and pop it on my tea. So honey. This is not a great angle guys but Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that we got soldiers. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. We like a full table. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So I got a little plate of bit, so let me talk you through. Smoked salmon. I got some bread. So I have a bunch of Lebanese things. I got some pesto, mozzarella, and then yogurt. Oh, and I just so ready for a feast. And look at this view with the dippy eggs. How perfect is that? Okay, so breakfast at the Mandarin Oriental was absolutely amazing. I love places that have like healthy options. They also made us dippy eggs with soldiers. We had our ginger shots, amazing local honey. It was so amazing, such a great breakfast. Then we literally wandered 10 minutes and the sun is shining and we are now heading to Bouchera. Bouchera. Bouchera because, oh my gosh, it's one of the finest jewelry stores in Geneva and we are very excited. They have Rolex, Chopard, and many others so who knows what we might try but we actually managed to get an appointment here so we're gonna do some jewelry trying on which feels really exciting oh let's try some jewelry on look how gorgeous this lounge area is Um, asymmetric collection and yeah. very disordered collection, playful. Wow. So you can also accumulate them. But it's something very pure, minimalist, uh, but fun as well because you have one of the prongs, as you can see, is full pavé diamonds on the stones. Oh, that's really yeah. sweet. You need to wear it easily. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely it's beautiful. Colorful. If it was diamonds, it would be really different. It's really? Very hard to wear because oh my gosh, I love the pink. Big, 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 big. Yeah, I love the I love the big tennis yeah, one. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. Trend also for men wearing diamonds. Yeah. And actually, it's, uh, we just opened a new flagship store uh, on the other side, only dedicated to this brand. Oh wow! You know, wow! It's... This shape should be on this other side, but mm, this one yeah. is horizontal. And the name of this collection is Cat Size. So very feminine, very glamorous. Time to try some engagement rings. We turned this into an engagement ring. Two round pet diamonds and one cash and cash. Micro diamonds, which is the to me the most glamorous one. Oh, we already know that I she love loves cushion for now. Okay. You need to try as well. Nobody knows, but one shape is the most complex. Complex, sorry. Oh, uh, diamond shape to get. Which is the cushion? The round. Oh, the, the most round. Difficult the, way, it's the most difficult. So the round is the most it's difficult. Oh wow, this one is absolutely so. beautiful. Because it has to be um, a perfect round, and it has the more facet, it's the most sparkling uh, diamond also. I really like that. 
That suits you. Why are you not trying it on your engagement? I don't know, I just keep normal accidentally going for the other hand. On you. Yeah. That looks really good on you. I think I'd be a good hand model. I just don't think I, I suit see me. engagement rings. You really do. Maybe it's a superstitious thing. Maybe I'm not ready. <laughs> no, this one is really nice. <laughs> Everything suits you. I you just don't think one. you realise. Yeah. So on the engagement price. finger. Like right. yes. No, no, you can keep um, it on the finger. This one is 20k. Oh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this oh. one? I told you you have luxury taste. Okay. <laughs> 34. Of course I chose a 34,000 one. <laughs> of course I did. I mean, I think that's affordable compared to the necklace I just tried, which was yeah, like I was half a million. Say, oh, I think this is wonderful. That looks oh, wow. Perfect. I'll tell my boyfriend. Yes, yes. Mm, beautiful. That looks absolutely incredible. Maybe I mean. because it's now having such a big stone is extremely rare from mm. such quality. Mm. Wow. It's almost full transparency, almost no, uh, how do you say, inclusion inside, mm. and it's a perfect white diamond. I mean, it looks pretty perfect. Oh and my no, goodness. No, exactly. <laughs> Two billion years for these stones to crystallize, did you say? Yes. Wow. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's important to try because then you see what you like and what you don't like. Mm. Very heavy. Yeah, because the, the the shank of the ring is in massive uh, white gold, so... Oh, that's beautiful that's on you. Beautiful. That looks nice on you than it did on me. Mm -hmm, like so there's that. this one as well. I actually, I actually quite like this one. <laughs> this one I don't think suits me as much. I don't think I like the thick silver band. I think I definitely would like a gold band, although I'll take anything. You take it oh, this one. Okay, instant, instant love. Both moved forward. <laughs> you love that. Instant love. That's incredible. I really like this one. Is this a cushion? Cushion cut. Cushion cut. Micro it's, body cushion cut. I just think that looks really nice. Actually, I thought I wanted a round ring. It's been because we had some copper, which is uh, the, the metal to so get okay. this pinky shot. Oh. So would someone choose like the initial ring that they liked, and then you can play around and you can say, well. We know you like that ring, but maybe we could try changing the band, or we could make... Not the band, but for example, if you like this specific model, then you can choose the, the size of the stones you wish. Yeah. Uh, from from a certain weight till the top. Yeah. So if you want to count for the rest, we can so sort this and then yeah. create it for you. Different. I like this size, actually. Because it's uh, one of the most iconic pieces uh, in the world of Rolex, okay. one of the most. Um, it's chronograph, uh, very masculine, and the people like it because it's different. Than, uh, so it's like getting a Birkin from Hermes. Yeah. If you want an Hermes bag, you want a Birkin. If you want a Rolex, you want a Dunder. Right. Okay, so we just got out of the jewellery store. Oh my goodness. We bought ourselves a million pounds of jewellery. Basically, a lot of the pieces we were trying, like the necklace, was uh, half a million. The big silver ring I tried was also half a million. And you know what? They felt so special. And we had the most amazing service in there. I mean, obviously, you're going to have good service when it's such a luxury experience, but it was just impeccable. They do have things for all price ranges. You know, they can start from like a thousand and then they can go to kind of infinity and beyond. But we accidentally then ended up trying on engagement rings, tried on some Rolexes, which is really, it was not accidental. But how exciting that, you know, we went in there, there's floors full of jewelry. We got to do engagement rings. We got to try some Rolexes on, which are really exciting because obviously Rolexes are very, very hard to come by right now. And the service was just Visit. So this area is great for shopping. Geneva's really small, which is great because it's very compact. We're just going to pop into a few other shops, probably pop to Chanel next. And then we have a really exciting lunch, res. Denim. Interesting. Can I try it? I don't think I'd like this one, but it's actually really nice. It's gorgeous, right? It's so fun. I really like the black one. Like a wow, that's incredible. Oh, well, have said this place? Yes, everyone recommended it. One of the oldest places in Geneva.
So Chanel was amazing. And they had some really great pieces in. Emily definitely fell in love with the bag. I did. Definitely wasn't practical. It was pink and sparkly and amazing. Did not need it. Did not need it. We don't need anything. If I had, like, you know, ample disposable income, <laughs> then you know what? I would have treated myself to the bag. But in a memory. We are sensible queens. We're sensible queens. We're we renovating a house. Queens. Absolutely. And I, I have to spend this. Okay, that was the same amount of money that I would spend on, like, Fencing. No, fencing's actually like double the price. I can't believe how expensive fencing is. Fencing costs. is so expensive. We have to buy adult things now. Here. We have to buy adult things now. Okay, so what I was telling you is the shopping here is amazing, the service here is great, and now we are actually heading to a restaurant that pretty much everyone we've spoken to has recommended. My biggest tip is to always ask locals, taxi drivers, hotel concierges, anyone that's kind of serving you in restaurants, people who live here live it and breathe it in any country because they have the best recommendations. Everyone has told us we have to come here for traditional Swiss and French food actually. Apparently they do a great fondue and it's actually I believe the oldest restaurant in Geneva so it's going to be an exciting lunch experience. Look at this cutie pie and then there's an Aveda here. This is the nicest Aveda store. onion soup, potatoes, gorgeous salad. This salad literally looks like the best salad it's so good. in the world, doesn't it? Yum, yum, yum. Yes. Enjoy your meal, my petit. I'll just traverse the salad with that. Ah, yes, better like that, yes. <laughs> it's bubbling away. Bubble, bubble, bubble. This onion soup, should we say, look at that. How cute are these little guys? Oh my god. Okay, lunch was insane. Just what we needed. Some Swiss cheese, a fondue. It was so good. Probably the best salad I've ever had as well. Now we are craving chocolate. So we are going to find somewhere nice to get a little bit of chocolate on our walk. Maybe pop Do you want to get a much flurry? No. <laughs> No, I, I like my flurries, but I actually no, love going to McDonald's go and, and see, seeing what yeah, different what things they do. I love going and seeing what different things they have in McDonald's, on, depending on the different countries. So yeah, we should go and see. They probably do fondue. In Montreal, they do poutine. I'm going to Google it. They do poutine in Montreal, and they do katsu curry. It. Yeah. I've had the McDonald's poutine. Where? In Canada. In Canada oh my gosh, I love it. Oh no, I think I told you to have it. I was like, you need to try McDonald's poutine. It's really good. I got told off on, everyone told me it was the worst one to try. I mean, yeah, it's not traditional poutine, but it's still like a nice poutine. Um, we're gonna wander around, make our way to the spa because our next stop is a very famous spa. So yesterday was actually a bank holiday, which will explain why the lines for the crepes were so busy, meaning we may be able to get a crepe or a Nutella pizza en route now to the spa because we get to walk along the beautiful river. A crepe or a Nutella pizza, whichever one we find first. But because <laughs> probably both. Yeah, but the weather is brighter today. The sun is out, meaning that the walk we did yesterday along the river is going to look even more beautiful today. We got a Nutella pizza to have by the river from this stall, Pizza Matter. Wow. This is such a hit list thing to do, so very excited. We're gonna we'll take the pizza with us. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna float around in a pool, in like a bath <laughs> situation, and uh, <laughs> I'm just here, you to finish no, the Nutella. I was gonna say, just Can I buy some white? Would you like a white? Pyrex wipes are the best. I come prepared. I'm just Always call me them. mom. Thanks, mom. That was unbelievable. Oh my gosh, this shop is absolutely beautiful. We have so many good ones. This is giving. Yes. 
Russia. Russia. Yes. <laughs> Emily and I absolutely love chocolate cornflakes. And they have chocolate cornflakes in oh, here. And you know that we love Ladderack in London. It's Swiss chocolate. And they used to do this insane cornflake chocolate. And they pulled it from all the shelves. We, we have no they idea why. Continued and we asked them and they no said, it's, was it Carpo that did? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. We like Ladderack. And we found cornflake chocolate. So there you go, my love. I oh, bought it for Em because great. she has been a cornflake chocolate heart. A Swiss cornflake chocolate oh, yes. how lucky i am and um, am i this is a post spa which was amazing by the way so with good. views of the that. mountains post spa i had an aperol in the spa we saw the mountains and now we are wondering before we go back and get ready for a dinner reception and the drone show and we're going to pick up some snacks on the way because there's just so much good food here that we want to try no look what we found we found ladderack oh my goodness they do cornflake bites in Ladderack. I'm sure they don't do these in the UK. They even have jazzies, Ladderack jazzies. Oh my goodness. I'm hungry because we found a food hall. And a gorgeous home store. Everything is so nice in here. Wow. How beautiful. Wish we had more room to take this stuff home. I love that. Everything's like pastel and neutral and gold. I would love this in a Michelle home. We found a coffee shop inside a library. No way. So when I was in Chamonix, I fell in love with this place. It's like a clean kitchen. And they have one here in Geneva. This makes me so excited. And a butter protein bar. This place looks great for future reference. It's like a healthy spot. And they do poke bowls, salads. Good evening. So we're running a little bit late, but we are just heading over to the Fairmont Hotel for the star of the show, the drone evening. I cannot wait. It's going to be insane. I believe it's over 1,000 drones tonight in the drone show. We love a drone. We love a drone. I'm so excited. It's random though, but it, they do one at Disney. Yes. And we were just it's mesmerized. Amazing. We were mesmerized. So I can't wait to watch this. I think the views are going to be epic. And we are having like a lovely little mini party at the Fairmont. Fairmont's are some of my favorite hotels. So we can't wait for the canapes, the gorgeous drinks. Swiss hospitality is great. Everyone is so kind here We've and we've had, had such a meals. great experience. So roll on the cheese. This is yeah. so beautiful. I can't believe that that's drones. Oh, wow. Good morning! I have just done the hair, I've got my Elemis eye masks on, woken up in the beautiful hotel again, and we have two days left. This vlog is getting really long, so sorry about that, but oh my goodness, we went to the drone show last night, it was absolutely amazing. We were saying it was like poetic, it was so special, and that was Europe's largest drone show. Over 1,300 different drones made those shapes, there was amazing music playing, it was just like seeing live sculptures in the air and then there were amazing street food stands and everyone was watching and enjoying so it was a joy to watch that from the Fairmont Terrace. Today we have a really exciting day. So I'm going to leave this vlog here and see you for another vlog. I wasn't going to split this up but I am because there's so much to show you. So if you made it this far, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite type of cheese is, seeing as we had the most amazing fondue yesterday. And also, a high percentage of you don't follow me on Instagram and aren't subscribed to this channel, so you should click subscribe, give this a like, and also come say hi on Instagram. That would mean so much to me, but thank you if you watched this far. I know it was long, but we've had the most amazing few days in Geneva, and I can't wait to take you for the other ones. All my love. <laughs>